You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 8th day of June 2023. And our topic for today is Light Up Part 3. Let us pray. Our Lord and our Father in Heaven, we bless and we worship you, we adore your name. We are grateful for the privilege of life. Thank you for the gift of your breath in our nostrils. We thank you for sound health. We thank you for your grace that sustains us. Lord, we come before you today again to receive of your word. We ask, Lord, that it will be your word alone that we would hear. Open our hearts, Lord, to receive and grant us also the grace to obey your instructions as they come to us today. Let these words dwell in our hearts richly and let their bear fruits unto righteousness. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Genesis chapter 17 verse 6. Genesis 17 verse 6 reads, And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings will come out of thee. Genesis chapter 17 verse 6. Our text for today is from the book of Mark chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18. Mark chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18 reads, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Mark chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I will come back. Our topic for today once more is Light Up Part 3 and in the body of our devotional for today, our Father and the Lord says to us that embedded in pure light is the color green, the color of fruitfulness. John chapter 15 from verse 1 to 5 says, There is no way you can have the light in you and remain barren. The light that lives within you is the vine you can connect to so as to become fruitful. John chapter 15 verse 5 He gives you the ability to be fruitful even in situations where others have been barren. He said about those who are his children that there shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Exodus chapter 23 verse 26 Green is also the color of power. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 when you carry the light within you, you will have the power of God operating within you. You need power to move forward. It is the engine inside a vehicle that determines how fast it can go. When the light is within you, you have a very high level of power that makes you accelerate at an unusual speed. In other words, when you carry the light, your promotion will be extra rapid. Believe me honestly, you can enjoy such great speed in your career that even you will be trembling at the thought of it. One of my sons came to me once saying he had a job interview and he wanted me to just speak a word over him. I said, go and the interview will go well. He said, amen and left. He returned the following day excited that not only did the interview go well, but that he got the job as deputy managing director and the board asked him to resume the very next day. I congratulated him and he said, no, speak another word. I said, all right, the almighty God who has given you the job will make your promotion rapid. He went and then the following day came again, trembling. Daddy, I got to the place of work and was told that after I left the previous day, their managing director resigned. There, on the spot, 
I was offered the role of managing director. I congratulated him again and he said, No daddy, speak another word. I then said, The God who has begun a good work in you will perfect it. He came back to testify the day after that his salary had been doubled. I speak a word to you now. Your promotion shall be rapid in the mighty name of Jesus. And we all say a resounding Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Our topic for today once more is Light Up Part 3. But before now, we have studied two other topics in this series. And on the first day when we studied the topic Light Up Part 1, our Father in the Lord taught us that when light is passed through a prism, it dispels a number of colors. And for the purpose of this study, he limited them to a number of those colors. On the first day, we studied the color red. And our Father and the Lord explained to us that the red is the color of danger. We learned that our God is a consuming fire, which means that God is indeed powerful and no one can toy with him. The same way too, he jealously guards and guides his servants. We learned also that red is the color of blood. And scripture makes us understand that we overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We learned that this red which is in the light of God within us makes us dangerous and gives us power to overcome the devil. We become his worst nightmare. Hallelujah. This red was also explained to be like the stop sign. So when the traffic light goes red, you have to stop. Hence we learned that once you are lit up by the light of God, when evil sees you, it will stop. Hallelujah! On the second day which was yesterday, when we studied the topic Light Up Part 2, we learned that another color we find when light passes through the prism is yellow. And our Father and the Lord explained to us that this yellow in the light of God represents for us healing. We also learned that this makes available to us unlimited energy, the kind of energy that others cannot understand. And we saw the scripture Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 that said to us that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We learned also that yellow is the color of pure gold. It also represents abundance. We learned therefore that if you are connected with the light of God, you just must prosper. And the reason is simple. We see it in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 that God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Praise God. We learned that having this light qualifies you to become a candidate for divine prosperity. Hallelujah. Today we have the privilege to study the third part of the topic light up. And in today's study, our Father and the Lord explains to us that another color you can find when light passes through the prism is green. And this green we learn today connotes fruitfulness. From our study today, we learn that it is impossible for you to have this light within you and still remain barren. And that is because we are connected to the vine. You remember that our Lord Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. The moment we are connected to him, it is expected that we bear fruits. We also learn from our study today that this his light grants us the privilege to still remain fruitful even in times and situations when others around us are barren. I don't know what nature of fruitfulness you are trusting God for. It could be the fruit of the womb, the fruit of the mind, financial fruitfulness, marital fruitfulness, whatever it is. Because God's word promises us that we will not be barren, receive your testimony right now in the name of Jesus. We learn also today that green is the color of power. And when this light of God resides within you, you carry power. You accelerate and you make progress. Interestingly, our Father and the Lord makes us understand today that this light of God when it resides within us, causes us to experience accelerated speed. Our breakthroughs, our miracles, our answers to prayers will come at record-breaking time and they'll reach us in quick successions. Hallelujah! You remember the story our Father and the Lord shared with us in today's study about the man who met him for prayers and eventually got the job he was trusting God for. He stepped into the role of Deputy Managing Director. 
and as if that was not enough, the next day on his return, having received another word of the Lord, was promoted to become the managing director. Still, as if that was not enough, another word was said over his life and he returned again to the same place of work and his pay was doubled. All of this that happened within the period of a few days is something that takes some people almost a whole lifetime to achieve. I don't know what you are trusting God for, but because he has promised us today that we will be fruitful, we will not be barren, and that we too will enjoy rapid progress, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we begin to experience divinely unusual fruitfulness and speed in the name of Jesus. I would like us at this point to bow our heads. Open your mouth and ask the Lord, say, Father, according to your word that says nothing will be barren in our land, Lord, let us step into our season of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Fruitfulness in all areas of life. Spiritual fruitfulness, fruitfulness of the body, academic fruitfulness, financial fruitfulness, the fruitfulness of the works of our hands and all that you have entrusted to us. Grant unto us today in the name of Jesus. Our study also tells us today that he gives us the ability to be fruitful even in situations where others have been barren. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, in places where others have experienced dryness, in places where they may have experienced fruitlessness, Father, let us sow in that land and reap multiple folds to your glory in the name of Jesus. Where others may be having negative testimonies, where others may be having one unpleasant thing or the other to say, say, Lord, grant us great and unbelievable testimonies in the name of Jesus. Our study today also tells us that this light of God within us can grant us great and unusual speed. Ask the Lord today for this grace. The grace to make accelerated progress. The grace that compresses all the years of labor and work to grant to us speedy results. Let that be our portion in the name of Jesus. Also be specific today. You may need this accelerated progress in a specific area of your life. Maybe you have been delayed for so long in that area Ask the Lord today for divine speed. For the man whose story we read about in today's study, he was exempted from starting from the bottom. He entered and began at a managerial position. Say, Father, please fast track our progress in life, satisfy us early, and bring us speedily into your promises in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, we bless you, and we worship your name because with you all things are possible. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Lord and our Father, words will not be enough to describe how grateful we are. Thank you for your word today. We ask, O oh Lord, that as you lighten us up today, let us enjoy this rapid speed. Let us enjoy accelerated promotion. And in the end, let all glory be ascribed to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us the light of God within you will grant you unusual speed in life. And we declare that in the name of Jesus, this becomes our portion. We experience and we enjoy unusual speed and we make rapid progress in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We also have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Psalms chapter 18 down to chapter 21. Praise God. We also want to thank you and sincerely appreciate you for joining us today. Thank you for always making this a beautiful time of fellowship together. We love, we honor and we appreciate you. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234 you can do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 10 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing in Christ alone. Have a beautiful day ahead. Go forth today and enjoy quick and back-to-back -back progress. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my soul is gonna stole.
this solid ground, firm through the fairest drought and storm. What height of love, what depth of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter, my only of God in heaven, bless me, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on the cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin, all it was laid. Here in the death of Christ, I live. There in the ground, his body laid. Light of the world by darkness laid. This bursting forth in glory. Grave we rose again, and as he stands in victory, since Christ has lost his grip on me, for I am his, and he is mine, but with the precious blood of guilt and life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me, from life first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny, no power of hell, no scheme of man. If you enjoyed today's devotional, we'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.